another one that's getting a favorite. Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'll be checking out Guitar Fury by Sample Logic. In true Sample Logic fashion, the developer has presented a traditional instrument in the non-traditional hybrid format we've come to expect from them. While Guitar Fury has been created from nearly 600 multi-sampled guitars and guitar-inspired instruments, this is not at all your traditional multi-sampled guitar library. As with other Sample Logic instruments, Guitar Fury blurs the line between music and sound design. Guitar Fury downloads as 43 gigabytes, it includes 594 sampled instruments and presets, and requires the full version of Contact 5.8.1 or higher. Guitar Fury is available from Sample Logic for $199.99, but at time of review is currently available for the intro price of $119.99 or even less for current owners of Sample Logic Cinematic Guitars or Drum Fury Libraries. So one of the first things you're going to notice when you open Guitar Fury is the really, really clean, sharp interface that Sample Logic have created. I really like the simplicity of this. Um, some of Sample Logic's previous instruments are super, super deep and give you a ton of sound design options, but they can be a little overwhelming when you first open them just because there's so many different options and cores and arpeggiators and all this stuff. So Sample Logic have really went with a minimalistic approach here, and I really like it for what they're doing with this instrument. Um, those of you who watched my Motion Keys review a few weeks ago, one of Sample Logic's most recent instruments, are going to notice that this interface is very, very familiar to what you saw there. So you have a really, again, a simple interface on the front with just some very basic controls. You have an effects section, which we'll dive into, some randomization options, and then your preset browser. What's really cool about this is you have your instruments, which we will show you as we click here, which again uses the tag um, organizational method that gives you the presets based on the tag or tags that you select and combined together, which I really, really like. But what's really cool about this too is while you pick one of the presets, you also can change the source of that preset. So for instance, you could use a different, um, you could use different source material with the same kinds of effects and things. So it can give you a lot of different sound design options. So I'm gonna shut up now. We're just gonna dive in and start going through some of the presets in the different categories. And we'll talk a little bit about the engine a little more later. So let's start with the acoustic category. And again, there's so many different presets you'll see just in this one. I think there's 594 altogether, but just in this one, you can see it's just an overwhelming number. Um, so we're just gonna kind of randomly pick these. Let's start with Ants Go Marching. Really love that. You can tell the guitar inspiration behind that. You can see that that's the source material. Let's try bass popper. Really nice bass sound. Becoming a star.
<laughs> listen to that after that after tunnel like that. Bohemia. And again, one of the things I said in my Motion Keys review that does bear repeating here is unfortunately you can't use the scroll mouse, the wheel on your scroll mouse to pull this down. You've got this really tiny bar that you've got to scroll down with. It's a minor inconvenience, but just something to note. Charging down. Check out Crystallized Visions. All right, let's move along to the ambient category. And again, once you click one of these tags, you need to unclick the other one or you'll really be limited in what you're seeing because it's going to give you something that's acoustic, organic, and ambient. So let's just change that to ambient. Echoing Origins. that you can tell most of these you can really hear the source material in most of these sounds so far jump over to the base category. Love that. <laughs> if you're looking for a rowdy, deep, uh, just growling bass, there you go.
for some reason I'm stuck in A minor tonight. <laughs> Let's move over to the bell light category. Disco funk. <laughs> skeleton string. Let's jump over to the bowed category. I want to hear what a mad violin sounds like. And the maker. the things that you might have noticed is when I change presets, if I start playing too quickly, you can actually hear almost a combination of the sounds. So some of the effects from the previous preset kind of bleed over into the other one. So just a tip uh, that I'm noticing, you probably want to wait a moment to let the sound load um, so that the other one gets completely cleared out of the system. Let's go over to the bright category. Avatarian or Avatarian. Bowed String Gala. And that's one of the things you'll notice too is the guitar sources are plentiful, but there's also bass and just all sorts of stringed instruments. So the name Guitar Fury can be a tiny bit misleading because there's actually a lot more under the hood than just guitars. It's fun. I never have a clue what's getting ready to come out of the instrument. So you just start playing and kind of go with it. Hammersmith. Let's 
step over to the chordal melodic category. Just a handful of presets here. Long live the 80s. I second that, uh, I second that emotion <laughs> to quote Tina Turner. One Note Fairy. Ooh, got to be careful on that one. <laughs> you have to be careful on those ones that have chords in them. They're a little tough to uh, fit into an entire uh, melodic passage. All right, let's go to clean. move down and catch some of these lower ones. How about Masked Hero? Poor Jed. <laughs> jump into the deep low end. Detuned? Rust World. Ooh, can 
hear the detuned vibes there. This is a good time to just talk a little bit about the interface. So let's jump into that a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the X here. You can see that you have some of the basic controls, such as, of course, volume, pan. You have a, vo a, a velocity intensity here. Um, of course, an attack and a release. You have a low cut and a high cut filter, which I really like the fact that you also get an LFO here. Actually, let's go and grab a clean preset just so that we can get a sense of what that's like. Let me just pull up something. Oh, I don't know what, what to pull. There you go. Okay. So let's go over here and let's put a low pass filter on the low cut um, control. So let's say we want to turn on the LFO and there's the low pass filter. I was saying, let's put an LFO on the low pass filter. I'll get it right in a moment. Um, and then we can say, let's make that a 16th. that I really like how you it's just simple it's what I really like about this is you can do a lot there's a lot of control and also a lot of randomization options with just a really minimal amount of effort let's try that on an eighth really really cool so let's turn that off and of course the same thing is true with the high cut filter um, you also have an LFO you can put on that a resonance a resonance and velocity control you've got an effects tab with just some really <clears throat> really easy to control effects compressor stereo spread tape saturation delay EQ and reverb um, you even have an LFO for things like reverb which is kind of unusual um, but let's go ahead and dive into some of the randomization options. I really, really like the way they've done randomization in this engine. Instead of just hitting a random button and getting a random preset all together, you can hit the three dots here and you have some really cool options. You can decide whether you want to only randomize the instrument itself so that the source and the effects stay the same, or you know, you can mix it up. You can say, well, I want to keep the source the same, but let's try something different with the preset, with the effects, or I want to keep the effects the same, but let's mix it up with the instrument. So many options. So let's just go all together. We're going to select all of these and I'm just going to hit the random button and let's see what we get. Let's do it again. And of course, sometimes you get a happy accident. Sometimes you just get an accident. <laughs> Let's hit it again. And once again. Really, really crazy. I'm going to hit it a couple of more times. And one more. So you kind of get the idea. You could just do a lot of different things. So let's say that I want to go back into the presets. And let me see here. We were on dissonance, so now we're going to go to distorted. I'm just going to grab one of these just for fun, asteroid field. And then we're just going to say, okay, 
Let's randomize, let's leave the source and the effects and let's randomize the instrument and see what we get. So you can tell a totally different sound, but you can still hear those same effects. Let's do it again. And now let's go back, oops. Let's go to the preset browser. And once again, I'm gonna to go to the distorted section. I'm gonna to go to, instead of asteroid field, let's try something we haven't done, bangers and balls. Okay, so this time let's, um, Let's keep the source and the instrument and let's just change the effects. Let's do it again. And one more time. So really, really cool. We're just, we're just changing up a little bit. Um, instead of doing the whole thing, we can save the parts we like. I really like that. All right, let's go back to the distorted category and maybe do one more sound here, and then we'll move along. Guitar Center, every guitarist's favorite place. Okay, sorry, I gotta do I gotta do one or two more of those. <laughs> Let's try the Hendrix effect. Hear that feedback? <laughs> nice. All right, one more. Hourglass. I'm just going to jump through some of the rest of these. Let's move to echoing. Let's try. Oops. And again, you can see that's kind of hard to grab sometimes. I didn't wait long enough again. Let's let that clear out. All right. You might be noticing that unlike something like motion keys, I'm playing far fewer keys than I normally would. Um, just really mostly one hand stuff, no more than four or five fingers. Um, seems like on these particular sounds, I'm getting a sense that kind of the more you do, the more cluttered a lot of these sounds get. So they're, they're really, while some of them can be melodic, some of the background ones, especially you kind of want to be careful that you don't clutter the sonic, uh, the sonic field. Let's go to evolving. move to fast motion.
right? What's a guitar library without a heavy category? <sighs> and hybrid industrial. I'm just gonna play with both hands just so you get a sense for how cluttered something like this can be if you're not careful. I mean, it's hard to even do that. <laughs> I can't even keep a rhythm hardly because it's just so, it's just not made for that. Really, really cool sound though. Let's jump down to Climbing Skies. Really like the tail on some of these. Let's try Juicy Fruit. <laughs> definitely have a hybrid flavor to them. I mean, you just genuinely have no clue what you're going to get when you, when you open this up. It really is just an entire toolbox of everything from pads and lead guitars and synths. I mean, it's just got a little of everything. Really, really cool. help if I stayed in the right key. All right, let's jump down to the metallic category and go do a couple of these. Let's go to the muted category. I guarantee that last sound would be in here. I really like that muted sound.
probably got off there. One more. jump down to the pads. really unusual you have to kind of press that one a little bit hard to get it to play one more Panoramic. I have no idea what that means in this context. Let's find out. Got a couple of the plastic nylon. Let's see what we have here. some of the pulsing presets. <laughs> Once again, got out of key there. <laughs> Let's try the reversed, some of the reversed presets. Actually, I think we might have done that particular preset. Let's try something different.
Let's just check out one or two of the staccato sounds. Slow attack. I really like that. We're going to hit the heart on that one to favorite that. slow motion. Ooh, my ears are going to ring after that one. Player piano. Sustained long sounds. Ooh, you can notice if I if I go really um, if I play that gently get a really really small attack very gentle but here's big oh yeah yeah I like that let's try a couple more of those That actually sounds like a hornet's nest. <laughs> Let's jump down to the synth category and just do a couple of these. It's another 
another one I really like. Sometimes you find a sound that you could just play with over and over for all the, the entire night. That's one of those I really, really like. Let's try traditional, which I'm assuming this means traditional guitars, but let's find out. couple more categories to go. Let's try a couple of wet or reverberant sounds. Tyrell Corporation for all you Mr. Robot fans. another one that's getting a favorite not only am i a fan of mr robot but i'm a fan of the sound tyrell corporation let's see here one more from this category that out a little bit so you could appreciate the uh, after effects all right we're to the last category of the day wild stutter we're going to do two or three sounds here and then we're going to call it a wrap One last sound. Let's make it something good. Let's see here. How about Unicorn Love? Gosh, I love the names of some of these. <laughs>
I really, really like the fact that there are a ton of presets. One of the things that Sample Logic has long been known for is their plethora of presets. They never sell you short on presets. They always give you a ton. In this case, we have 594 of them. Um, so lots of presets, that's number one. Categorization, I love the categorization. It makes things so much easier to find. In some of the previous sample logic libraries, categorization was something that was lacking. So, you know, the fact that you can cross the different tags to find exactly what you're looking for, a bell-like metallic pad, I mean, that's just really great. It really makes a composer's life much easier when you're looking for that one special sound. Um, I love the simplicity of the interface. I love the fact that you have access to some LFOs without having to really dive deep into effects and be a real, you know, uh, contact nerd to really appreciate it. I love the fact that it's simply, uh, that there's a simple approach to it. And finally, I love the randomization options. I love the fact that you can randomize something just all together, but then the fact that Sample Logic have thrown in the addition of being able to actually customize exactly what you're randomizing is just a really, really great addition. I want to see that in future libraries. I love the fact that you have control. It's, you know, it's this great thing of being able to allow the engine to do some of the work for you while still maintaining a little of the control. So if you find an instrument you like, but you don't really like the effects, instead of you having to go and tweak a bunch of effects, you can just click the randomization button a few times and lo and behold, you'll have something that you probably like. Um, again, it's on an introductory price at the moment, uh, but normally sells for $199.99. Guitar Fury by Sample Logic. Check it out. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks for checking out this video. So what do you think about Sample Logic's Guitar Fury? Is this a library that you would use in your own music? Comment below and share your thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe. We always appreciate your support. Be sure to visit samplelibraryreview.com for news, reviews, and our weekly deal compressor.